Hi, I'm Jamila and I am the research lead for the London. And I'm here to answer the question today, um, how can I get involved in research as a trainee? So I would say um, by very virtue of the fact that you've clicked on this link, you're obviously keen. So that's half, half the battle won. But there, I would say there are three things that you can do. The first is to get involved in recruiting to trials. Now, in order to do that, you need to do your GCP, which is good clinical practice. And I would actually suggest that everyone just do that because it gives you a framework for how research is conducted. It's free, it only takes a couple of hours and it just kind of teaches you not to do shady things. Um, beyond that, it's just then a case of getting trained up onto various studies and recruiting patients, which is great for your ARCP. And for those of you that want to take it a bit further, you can actually get registered to become an associate PI for the NIHR for that particular study. And again, it's great, it's NIHR accredited and it, it looks good on the CV and it gives you a feel for conducting research. The second thing you can do, because actually not all departments are research active, is you can get involved in audit. And by audit, I don't mean, you know, kind of a case series of 20 patients, that's not research. And actually audit isn't research, but what audit does is it can throw up lots of really interesting questions if set up correctly. So it's a lot of work for one person to undertake. So maybe see if you can get a group together and you could even form a collaborative, which, you know, there are many of around the country. And you basically set up something prospectively and um, do some, you know, really detailed data collection and it'll give you a feel for data analysis, but it will also throw up loads of research questions and hopefully allow you to get some publications out there and give you a feel for, for what it's about. The third is kind of, um, it, it's a lot more intense, but it's, it's for those that really do want to be academics. And hopefully over here somewhere, the NIHR pathway should, should show. And that basically takes you through from um, academic clinical fellowships all the way up to becoming a senior lecturer and a prof. So if your aspiration is to become the next Dan or the next Xavier or the ne next Matt Costa, then that's the way to do it. The other kind of few little bits of useful information that I thought I'd flag up to you is um, over here again somewhere, hopefully, is the RDS landing page and that gives you loads of really interesting information. How to write a research question, how to get your research up and running, what to do, practical steps. And the final thing which I've pinned there for you is the Prisma diagram, which is how to conduct a systematic review. It does make it look a lot easier than it is and it does take time, but well worth it if you're interested. Hope that helps.